Hello Scorpions, welcome to Brutto Giotaro and this reading is from 29th of December to 4th of January. So let's check what are the masters for you. Eight of Swords. Seven of Cups, The Magician, Two of Wands, Five of Swords, and Two of Pentacles. Okay, so seems like uh, Someone is listening to others too much. With this Eight of Swords, this person may have certain idea about perfect relationships. We have this Seven of Cups here. So certainly this person is looking at something perfect or at something they feel is perfect and they might be expecting that from you. Okay, according to their definition, this is a perfect relationship. I mean the relationship they are looking at or the relationship um, they are dreaming of because uh, others are kind of uh, telling them that this is not the perfect relationship. A perfect relationship is like that, like this and um, a lot of things. Your person is feeling that um, they have not got enough. Probably they are too much on social media, they are watching other couples and they feel that others relationship is better than theirs or others are getting much more than, a, than they are getting in a relationship and that could be really annoying for you because uh, in spite of doing everything this person might judge you they might tell you that um, uh, you should do more for this relationship you should make more efforts when actually you are the one who's making all the efforts or you are the one who is bothered about saving this relationship so with this aid of source this person is only listening they cannot see the truth even if you are right before their eyes they cannot see their hands are tied they cannot help themselves and um, in this situation this person is totally dependent on others and uh, you know this is harming this relationship also we have two of wands here probably you two are in a long distance relationship and uh, you cannot see this person much, they cannot see you. Maybe they are spending a lot of time away from you with other people and uh, they are getting this idea. Um, it's not necessarily about physical distance, it could be about their coldness, it could be about uh, lack of fire or uh, lack of connection between you two. And uh, they might be spending too much time on social media or something that is kind of draining away their energy and uh, they are constantly looking at the things that are not even real and they are comparing uh, you to those people or they're comparing their relationship with the other relationships okay we have this five of swords here with this five of swords um, this is about some kind of journey you may be feeling tired you may feel like you are done you may feel like you need to choose something and with this five of swords, I see that you are doing that. I see that you are in the middle of something. I see that uh, you are uh, trying to move ahead, but there could be something that is pulling you back. There is this connection, there is this uh, love that keeps you there. With this two of pentacles, uh, your mind will definitely interrupt. Your mind will try to tell you that you need to see the red flags, you don't need to ignore those because um, you know it's about your future, it's about your love, it's about your time. You shouldn't be giving your attention, energy and time to someone who doesn't deserve you. Two of Pentacles is about uh, being in the middle, okay? So you may feel like uh, you need to give up on this relationship. And in the very next moment, uh, you would feel like something is still there, you need to stay, a lot of confusion. 
and uh, he won't know what to decide because uh, I see that there was this distance between you two. You're not talking enough or you are not seeing each other and uh, this is making situation worse for both of you. However, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. Four of Cups. Five of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. And six of swords. Okay. So here we have uh, four of cups. With this four of cups, it's about uh, not being ready to accept something. This person may not be paying attention to what you have done for them. This person may not be happy about anything. It's like the more you try to convince this person that you love them, the more they would need proofs. They would want you to prove that. Tarot is telling you that uh, do not push yourself for anything. Do not try to prove anything or do not try to save anything. Because uh, this person is not ready to appreciate what you have got to offer, at least at this point in this week. We have this five of wands here. It's about fighting their situation. This person cannot be happy with anything. Looks like this person is already struggling with a lot of things and uh, people are adding more to it by telling them the negative things. It's also about you. Five of wands is also about you. It's telling you to fight for yourself. It's telling you to stand for yourself. It's telling you to um, face the fact or accept the truth. We have this Queen of Pentacles. With this Queen of Pentacles, Tara is telling you, you are special. You have got this pentacle, you have got this love, you have got this beauty. Are you after something that is not uh, you know, good enough for you? That doesn't deserve you. Tara is telling you, be wise, choose wisely. Your energies are different than this person. I mean, looks like vibrationally, you both are not at the same level. You are way more advanced than them when it comes to soul and understanding. You are better than them. And uh, certainly that's why things are not working here. We have the six of swords. If you feel tired, if you feel done, it's better to walk away or to take a break at least. Tara is telling you that uh, you have tried enough. You cannot do more than this. And even if you try to do, things are not going to work as you expected. So it's better to uh, distance yourself from the situation and uh, focus on yourself for a while, okay? And uh, we have a lot of swords and wands. Probably you are dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. Of course, it can be any sign because this is a general reading in the end. So let's check an oracle message for you. Medicine woman. This card is telling you that you need to heal yourself first. You need to um, get in the direction your heart is pointing to you need to listen to your intuition rather than uh, trying to settle for something that is not meant for you this is something that may give you a lot of pain but this is temporary and uh, this will go away what if this person stays with you all your life and uh, you know they do not change that is what the universe wants you to think and uh, you know face the challenges that are here right now because after this life will be better you are always going in a better direction universe makes that sure so whatever is happening is actually happening for good 
and uh, you should be only worried about your well-being in this whole process. So this was a reading for this week. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.